Since suffering that loss to Conor McGregor in Boston, Max Holloway has transformed into one of the all-time greats. He's beaten every single opponent he has faced, won 12 consecutive fights, claimed the interim belt, unified it against Jose Aldo and then finished the most dominant featherweight champion ever again in his first defense. After getting that unanimous decision victory over Blessed, McGregor has solidified his position as the biggest superstar the sport has ever seen. He's been champion of two UFC weight classes, broke the UFC PPV record a couple of times and went 10 rounds inside the ring with Floyd Mayweather in one of the most high-profile prize fights in history. The first time they fought, they were just youngins on the undercard of a fight night. If they were to book a rematch in the near future, it would undoubtedly headline one of the biggest numbered events of the year. McGregor has an abundance of potential dance partners for his return to the octagon, should he decide to come back to the cage. Interim lightweight champion Tony Ferguson earned his spot at the front of the Red Panty Night Cube by amassing the longest win streak in the division's history. Nate Diaz is at the business end too as he has a score to settle with the Notorious. Perhaps this is why Dana White didn't seem too enthused about the possibility of Holloway and McGregor slugging it out again. His comments at the UFC 218 post-fight press conference wouldn't fill anyone with much hope of ever seeing that fight again. Again, like I said last week to everybody who was at my office, who knows if Connor is even going to fight again? I'm rolling like he's not. So yeah, if Connor comes back and defends the title and, you know, anything is possible. Of course, Holloway was forced to field the inevitable McGregor question when he took to the stage. Ever the champion, he emphasized his priorities right now were at 145 pounds, but if the UFC wanted him to rematch McGregor, he would do so with no hesitation. Yeah, for sure. Like I said, I'm the champion of my division and I've got to keep everything rolling. I've got to keep everything going. I've got a throne to defend. I'm not going on hiatus. As long as I get contenders, I'm going to fight. But if the UFC call me out for that reason, any reason for fighting him, I'll gladly fight him. If the Connor fight don't happen, it's not on my side. I'll tell you guys right now. It's not on my side. It's on their team. If anyone is disappointed that the rematch never happens, Holloway can see the blame only falling on one side. Their team is talking about me all the time, talking about how I'm the best guy in the world blah blah and this and that. Right now, Connor now, really think about this right now Connor is talking about fighting Polly Malinaji in MMA. Let that sink in, you know. Polly Malinaji in MMA I don't know what to say. Watch Eric Cantona let us inside his unique mind on Unfiltered with James O'Brien.